Hi, my name is Brett Combs. I am an applications engineer at Trimec located in Richmond, Virginia. Today, we're going to look at how we can import your SOLIDWORKS assembly data and exploded views to create views within a composer project. Now, to do this, we'll have to first look at a couple of settings on each side of the import process. First, let's take a look at our uh, configurations here. You can see we have an exploded view with several steps within it, seven to be exact. When I'm done with the import into Composer, I'm going to have a total of eight views within my Composer project. First, I'm going to need to make sure that my add-ins have currently, currently been turned on. Hi, my name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer at Trimec. Hi. Hi, my name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer at Trimec, located in Richmond, Virginia. Today, we're going to look at how we can import a SOLIDWORKS assembly and its exploded views to create a composer project with views directly from SOLIDWORKS. To do this, we're going to have to look at settings on each side of the import process. So here I have a pretty simple assembly and an already ex uh, created exploded view with seven different steps. The first setting that I want to make sure is turned on is under my add-ins. So I'll come down under Tools, choose Add-ins, verify that my SOLIDWORKS Composer add-in has been turned on. This gives me the ability to see the SMG file type under my System Options exports. Next, we'll go to our System Options. Under Export. And under File Format, ensure I choose the SMG file type, which is the Composer file. Here is the setting I want to make sure is turned on, Export SOLIDWORKS Exploded Views and Save Views. Next, we're going to jump over to the Composer side. Now that I'm in the Composer side of the house, we'll verify some settings here. Under File, I'll go to my Properties and my Default Document Properties. At the very bottom, I have Advanced Properties. The setting I want to make sure that is turned on is the IO SW Import Exploded Views, ensuring that's enabled. Once this has been turned on, I can open up my uh, SOLIDWORKS file. It's recommended to use the default SOLIDWORKS import settings. Once complete, you can see that the SOLIDWORKS assembly has been brought into my Composer document, and I have a total of eight different views created for my exploded view. There's my default all the way to the finished exploded view. I hope you have enjoyed my video. And again, my name is Brett Combs with Trimec located in Richmond, Virginia.